Hey, I bet you're just like me. Totally hooked on The Beverly Hillbillies 1962. It's seriously one of those all-time greats, am I right? So today, picture this. Grab a seat, cozy up by the campfire, and let's take a journey back in time with the whole crew. Then and now. I'll dish out who's still shining bright and who's left us, sadly. Ready to dive in and relive those unforgettable moments? Let's make some magic and bring back those sweet memories. Irene Ryan. Irene Ryan played the character Daisy Moses in the TV series when she was 59 years old in 1962. We're deeply saddened to inform you that on April 26, 1973, she tragically passed away from glioblastoma and arteriosclerotic heart disease at the age of 70 in Santa Monica, California. My general purpose bandage. If you ain't sure what's wrong with your patient, it generally takes care of it. Donna Douglas. Donna Douglas played the character Ellie Mae Clampett. She was 30 years old when the TV series ran in 1962. Unfortunately, we must share the heartbreaking news that on January 1, 2015, she passed away from pancreatic cancer at the age of 82 in Zachary, Louisiana. Our hearts are heavy with sorrow. Paul, folks that call me a sissy. Them sissy for girls to act like. The Los Angeles didn't really think a lot of the hillbillies. Nobody loved us but the people. Buddy Ebsen. Buddy Ebsen played the character Jed Clampett in the TV series when he was 54 years old in 1962, and sadly, on July 6, 2003, he passed away of respiratory failure at the age of 95 in Torrance, California. Ms. Drysdale was one of the first hogs to the trough. <laughs> hey, you're looking... Well, uh, I'm, uh, I'm very grateful that, uh, I mean, this show has found acceptance... Some people didn't think it was. Max Baer Jr. Max Baer Jr. played the character Jethro Bodine. He was 25 years old when the TV series ran in 1962. Right now, he's living the dream right now. Surrounded by family and friends, totally content at 86 in beautiful Paradise, Nevada. You're going to be keeping company with a girl. Is there any questions you like to ask me? What kind of questions? <laughs> That's about a half a percent. But a half a percent with that many households, 500,000 people watch the show every single day. Nancy Culp. Nancy Culp played the character Jane Hathaway in the TV series when she was 41 years old in 1962. We're deeply saddened to inform you that on February 3rd, 1991, she tragically passed away from cancer at the age of 69 in Palm Desert, California. Well, I have typed out explicit directions. I've even drawn a map showing the exact location of the hotel. They have a lovely pool. Sergeant Frank Sutton. <laughs> yes. Happy Premiere Day. Thank you very much. You're going to start a new season tonight. Does, it, it, it's not possible. Five a, years. Five years. Raymond Bailey. Raymond Bailey played the character Milburn Drysdale. He was 58 years old when the TV series ran in 1962. Unfortunately, we must share the heartbreaking news that on April 15th, 1980, he passed away of a heart attack at the age of 75 in Irvine, California. Our hearts are heavy with sorrow. Good, Uncle Jeff. I bet you we can plow up that whole front yard before noon. <laughs> they wouldn't. Port, and you, you grab the handrails and you slide down and get halfway down, and you make a 180-degree turn in your face. Harriet E. McGibbon. Harriet E. McGibbon played the character Mrs. Margaret Drysdale in the TV series when she was 57 years old in 1962. We're deeply saddened to inform you that on February 8, 1987, she tragically passed away from natural causes at the age of 81 in Beverly Hills, California. Go over and speak to them emphatically. Help me up. Shug Fisher. Shug Fisher played the character Shorty Kellums. He was 62 years old when the TV series ran in 1969. Unfortunately, we must share the heartbreaking news that on March 16, 1984, he passed away after a lingering illness at the age of 76 in Woodland Hills, Los Angeles, California. Our hearts are heavy with sorrow. We. 
Miss Jane, I can't let this happen to you. Now watch. You see this old check? Sharon Tate. Sharon Tate played the character Janet Trego in the TV series when she was 20 years old in 1963. Unfortunately, we must share the heartbreaking news that on August 9, 1969, she passed away after a murder at the age of 26 in Los Angeles, California. Our hearts are heavy with sorrow. You hear any music? <laughs> no, should I? Oh, yeah. I should, too, but I don't, darn it. Well, if you'll wait, I'll hum something for you. Ooh, I think if you try to prepare yourself, you fall flat on your face. <laughs> face? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's a bay Banadere. Bea Banadere played the character Cousin Pearl Bodin. She was 56 years old when the TV series ran in 1962. We're deeply saddened to inform you that on October 13, 1968, she tragically passed away of lung cancer and pneumonia at the age of 62 in Los Angeles, California. No. <laughs> I guess wherever you have... Two unattached girls. Uh, I'll try. Good. Ten points. Uh, a touch. Feel. Yes. Frank Wilcox. Frank Wilcox played the character John Brewster in the TV series when he was 55 years old in 1962, and sadly on March 3, 1974, he passed away of natural causes at the age of 66 in Granada Hills, Los Angeles, California. Forecast. Twinges. <laughs> and little stabbing beans in her bone. I know what twinges are. Paintings of the Adirondacks. Because I, I'm spiritually drawn to them. Oh. Elvia Allman. Elvia Allman played the character Elverna Bradshaw. She was 59 years old when the TV series ran in 1963. Unfortunately, we must share the heartbreaking news that on March 6, 1992, she passed away from pneumonia at the age of 87 in Santa Monica, California. Our hearts are heavy with sorrow. Let's chat about your favorite character from the Beverly Hillbillies 1962. Uh. Share your thoughts in the comments below this video. And hey, don't forget to show your support by liking, subscribing, and hitting that notification bell for all my latest updates. I can't wait to craft more fantastic memories with you. Thanks a bunch, and I'll catch you in the next one.